Hey there guys, so you just finished uh, week two of your challenge and now we're moving on to week three. Today's the first day of week three. And I just wanted to say that you've made it through two whole weeks of the challenge and sticking with a workout plan and an eating plan and how amazing that is. It's not easy. It's really not easy making a big change like this. Change is hard. So at this point, maybe you're starting to feel a little let down, like, oh gosh, I wish I would have gotten better results by now. Or maybe you're seeing the changes that others are making and you're comparing yourself to them and you're like, I'm just not getting as good of results as them. Maybe you're frustrated and you're letting it to bring you down. But I really want you to take in consideration this week how hard change truly is. Think about other big changes you've made in your life, maybe a move or starting a new job or having a new baby and having to make those changes like super fast um, that are huge in your life. Remember how hard and how tough that was? Um, there's so many different emotions that we can feel when we're going through a big life change. You know, there's happy emotions, there's sad, there's nervousness, um, there's the fear that it won't work out. So to put it into perspective with what we are doing here with our um, health and fitness challenge, you may be facing or have to face very soon some of our bad habits, the bad habits that you've had. And when you're faced with these challenges, um, you're going to have to make the decision whether or not uh, that change is going to be something that you're going to stick with for the rest of your life. Are you going to let this make that kind of impact? So as hard as it is, you're going to have to determine whether or not it's worth it to make those instant gratification decisions um, and give into it so or not. So for example, the slices of random pizza that are sitting in the um, kitchen at work left over from a luncheon when you're hungry and you got the three o'clock munchies or maybe a piece of cake at Uncle Joe's birthday. You're like, oh, Uncle Joe only turns uh, 40 once in a lifetime. I know that's something that I've said to myself in the past. That's why I'm bringing it out. Or maybe those drinks that you go Thursday afternoons with friends um, to decompress from the office and complain about whatever has been bothering you. So the hardest thing about change is that it requires sacrifice, sacrifice and dedication, right? Like when you had that baby, you couldn't just go out on the weekends anymore. You had to find a babysitter or ask your parents. Um, so you're going to have to decide, is the short-term sacrifice that you're doing, is it worth it? To wake up every day feeling energized without those seven cups of coffee or that nasty sugar-filled uh, energy drink, or are you going to be feeling better? Is it worth it to feel better in your own skin and your clothing, right? Um, are you going to be able to give up those crap foods that everyone craves when they're having a bad day? But, you know, they don't make us feel better. A lot of times they actually make us feel worse. Is this change worth you feeling that this is a life where you feel accomplished, strong, and empowered? But the biggest question that you're going to be faced with is, is this change worth knowing that you're not just making this change to impact your life, but ought to inspire all the other people around you? Because the changes you're making right now, you may not realize it, but they're bigger than you. Um, just because it's taking control of your own life, it doesn't just affect you, but all of those around you. It's called the ripple effect, right? So the ripple effect of the choices you're making are having a way bigger impact than you're aware of. So for this assignment this week, I want you to think about the people you love. Write down five names of people that you'd really like to see living a healthier, happier, more fulfilling life. And make a commitment that you're going to inspire these people. Then I want you to make the commitment that not just how you're going to be helping yourself, but about helping to change other people. So after that, I really want you to realize the importance and value of yourself and what you're really capable of achieving this life. Um, think about working on yourself so that in return, you can help others to do the same. So fill up your cup so that you can help to fulfill other people. 
Because I know from my personal journey, in order to help others, I really, really had to help myself for the better. And I still continue. It's a constant journey. Um, So once I kind of figured that out, then I realized the awesomeness of this opportunity to help others and to kick these bad habits that I, in these obstacles that I didn't even realize I had necessarily, or that I maybe had pushed to the back of my mind and I didn't realize how much power they were holding over me. So this opportunity to go ahead and teach other people the tools, the knowledge um, that I'd been given, it was huge. So the awesome thing is that I know you guys are 100% up to this already. Um, this, This is your time to find yourself. This is your journey. And I want you to realize the challenges that are just for you. So the big part of the assignment is that I want you to choose one of those five people and name them, and then talk about the reason why you want to help those people in their lives, and how you're going to help impact them, start impacting them by the end of the challenge. So once you've shared this, um, and, and I want you to use it as your inspiration to move forward in the challenge, and gain success during this week three, because I know you've got this right? Like you've already shown us that you've got two weeks down. You can really get going. Everyone's doing an amazing job of pushing one another. And I want you to keep pushing yourself. So if that means for the 21 day fix, doing the doubles this week, get on it, do those doubles. And if that means for hammer and chisel, pushing yourself and upping your weights or really upping like the amount of pressure that you're putting, not pressure that you're putting on yourself, but upping the amount of discipline that you're having with yourself, then let's do it. And let's go out there with the goal of inspiring other people to do the same things with their life. So have an amazing week and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.